red face, sweaty palms, uncontrollable heartbeat, and I felt like my stomach is gonna come out of my mouth anytime soon. I felt like running away. I felt like quitting, but I didn't because I had to stay. That was five minutes before my first ever speech back in college. And that was just one of the many other speeches that I had to make in order to pass that major. And that speech, it wasn't good. It was a terrible and an embarrassing moment for me. But the thing is, I learned a lot of things from those experiences. And I was able to improve somehow. So today I'm going to share to you some of the things that helped me improve my public speaking skills and I hope they help you improve yours too. First, know your audience. Knowing your audience can help you craft the right presentation using the right words. You know, a bunch of high school students won't get as engaged to a PowerPoint presentation full of graphs and data as to an interactive activity or a video. Besides, the presentation is not about you, it's about them, and they are there to learn from you. Second is you must prepare. Aside from creating a really good framework for your content or for your presentation, you must also prepare your physical and mental condition. Nervousness is completely normal. It's not something that only you experience. You might repeatedly say to yourself, oh, I can't do this, um, I might make a mistake, or I might get a mental block on stage or while I'm presenting in front of many people. But the thing is, if you are well prepared, it might lessen the possibility of making a mistake. Third, practice. Practice does not make perfect, but it will definitely make your delivery better. The more you will know when and how to use your body on which parts of your speech. If you don't practice, it will show on your body language as well. Do not read unless you have to. Reading from a script or from the slides can break the interpersonal communication between you and the audience. By maintaining eye contact, you keep the focus on yourself and to your message. And please do not memorize. Instead of writing like a script for your presentation, write bullets or notes that are simple and direct to the point. Because if you memorize, when you forget a word or if you make a mistake in your script, then it will be difficult for you to redeem yourself. Lastly, grab attention at the beginning and close with a dynamic end. Instead of starting your presentation with today, I'm going to talk about this and this, why not start with a video, a joke, music, to create an impact to your audience? audience will help you craft the right presentation using the right words. A bunch of high school students won't get as engaged if you use a PowerPoint presenta presentation full of graphs more than an interactive video or activity. Knowing your audience can help you craft the right presentation using the right words. A bunch of high school students won't get as engaged to a PowerPoint presentation full of graphs and data than an interactive activity or a video. Thanks for watching! Give this video a like and leave a comment down below. Make sure you subscribe to EBC Digital Nest and follow all our other social media platforms to see more content like this.